And as promised yesterday, today we host the newly elected Senator Homer Bay County, that's Moses Kajuang. Thank you, sir, for joining us this morning. You're welcome. Yeah, we appreciate you taking the time to be with us uh, on Morning Express. Of course, a lot to discuss in as far as politics uh, is concerned and your journey to where you are now. I guess it should be actually congratulations for your win as well. Uh, thank you. It's almost a month since we concluded the elections. The elections. But the congratulations are not too belated. Yeah. They're still coming in? They're still coming in. Okay. Uh, let's first... Uh, backtrack, talk about your life a little bit, because um, many people came to know you about Moses Kajuang after, the, of course, the unfortunate demise of your brother, and then, you know, who was going to take over the seat, your name came up, and here's Moses Kajuang. But who, where did Moses Kajuang grow up? Where were you born? Uh, thank you. I was born in Homer Bay County, okay. uh, a little village called uh, Waundo. And that was in 1979-1978. I'm quite not mean? very sure about <laughs> the exact year of my birth because my birth certificate disappeared. And I've never sat my mom down to, you know, pin it down. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are the generation that was called Nyayo. We, we, we were born around the time when President Moi uh, took over power. Mm -hmm. I went to school in Waondo, uh, deep in the village. Right. I later on transferred to Nairobi, went to Rabai Road Primary School went to Langata Road Primary School, the school whose land we were trying to mm -hmm, grab. Mm -hmm. but that playground, we played on it. I was a head boy in that school, and that was a school playground. Yeah. Then from Langata Road Primary School, I went to Lenana School. From Lenana School, I went to Moi University. And from Moi University, I went to Makerere University. So what did you uh, study at Moi? I studied information sciences. I'm an information scientist uh, by profession. Okay. And at Makerere, I studied information technology. So what does information scientist do? Information scientists manage information okay. in all its forms, digital form, hard form. So you'll find information scientists working in IT, mm -hmm. they'll be working in media. A good number of journalists are information scientists. Mm -hmm. You'll find them working in libraries and archives and in records management. Yeah. I chose the information technology specialization within information sciences. All right. And then went on to Makere where you pretty much mastered in the same? Yes. And then work? Uh, I've been in the financial services sector for the last 13 years. Mm -hmm. I've worked for a long time in insurance. And within insurance, I've worked in Kenya, I've worked in Uganda. I've held roles that cut across East Africa. Yeah. I've also had a short stint in supply chain. I worked with DHL, which is a leading supply chain firm globally. Yeah. Uh, I did about a year and a half at DHL and was in charge of the information technology. Mm. So I would say that I'm an information technology specialist with a bias to financial services and supply chain. So you've been a corporate man pretty much all of your working career? Uh, that is your true. Working life pretty That's much. That's true. So politics, this is the first? Uh, for those uh, viewers who are with me at the university, back in, because at Moi University in 1998 mm. to 2002, I was elected Secretary General of the Students' Organization in second year. Mm -hmm. You know, if you uh, remember the way the public universities are structured, in second year you are still fairly new mm -hmm. and uh, it's usually quite difficult to be elected into any position. Right. But I was elected Secretary General in second year of the Moi University Students Organization mm -hmm. and uh, after that I was the Chairman of the Students Electoral Commission and we formed a national body of university student leaders. We called it uh, Kenya University Student Leaders Forum, mm -hmm. and I was the founding chair of, of, of that forum. So I've been involved in, I did not call it student politics as such, I call it student leadership.